Hi guys, this is uh, Ranjit and this is the second video in the series of that solar plant, solar systems for your house or your setup. And uh, I got a lot of questions regarding this uh, topic. Hence, I thought it will be better to make a dedicated video on this one. For example, I got a lot of queries from people. For example, they say that I have a 3BHK setup uh, and I have three ACs. Uh, what is the type of solar plant should I put? How how much should be the capacity? Others have actually uh, emailed me and said that I get a monthly bill of rupees 10,000. Uh, how much uh, bigger solar plant should I put? And, and something like that, that. And the answer to that is that I simply cannot tell you how many kilowatts uh, of solar plant you should put. Because in India, the electricity rates differ vastly you might be having a very low electricity rate of just five to six rupees but in some other parts of india the peak rate is almost close to 10 rupees and even slightly higher if you are on a commercial plant so again just giving a ballpoint figure uh, by just current electricity bill is not a right method uh, so i'll uh, actually let you know a simple procedure that you can follow uh, based on your needs and you will get an exact idea how much capacity solar plant you should actually port uh, and also uh, uh, so you don't have to worry how many acs you have how many devices you have if you follow this uh, plan also guys uh, do uh, remember that uh, the solar uh, plant that you have on your house or your office or whatever will not generate the electricity constant for example you can't uh, expect it to generate a constant electricity of 20 units or 25 units per day in fact my five kilowatt on grid plant uh, in summer uh, generates close to about uh, 30 units but in the rainy season when it's super super cloudy uh, i don't even generate eight to nine units uh, uh, so again you have to take an average or something like that and here is the simple formula that you need to actually follow and uh, i'll give it for both for example if you have followed my earlier video the part one i strongly urge you to do that in fact, uh, the generation will slightly differ uh, based on the panels. If you're using those uh, poly panels, they actually generate a little bit less, whereas the monoperk panels uh, generate uh, electricity a little bit more because they are more efficient. And uh, guys, as I've told you, uh, in summers, you might get a lot more generation, but in, uh, let's say, rainy seasons or where it's super, super cloudy, raining, etc., the generation will be very less. So you have to actually take an average to get an idea how big of a solar plant that you need to put and the simple average is that if i would say if you're going with the budget mono uh, sorry uh, the polycrystalline panels uh, you should expect at least about four units of electricity generation per one kilowatt of solar plant and if it's uh, the uh, mono perk and the uh, other new high efficiency panels or something you can expect at least about 4.5 units of electricity generation per day for one kilowatt of plant. That's the simple maths that you should do. Uh, yes, I know the some will argue that the mono perk panels generate a little bit more. Yes, in fact, I get an average of about five units of electricity generation with my mono perk plant. But again, I'm just uh, taking a rough uh, outlook uh, because as I've told you, in some of the months, the generation will be quite uh, low. So you don't want to actually based your, uh, what do you say, capacity plant just based on the highest generation that you are having. Okay, so let me just give it, uh, uh, explain it to you uh, with an example. And also, uh, one thing I would suggest is that whatever number you get, uh, how many kilowatts of solar plants that you need to put, I would say add a buffer of at least about 10 to 20 percent on that as excess capacity. Because what I have noticed is that after getting a solar plant, most consumers start actually consuming a lot more electricity. And also, it's uh, actually better to plan it for slightly higher capacity for your future expansion because if it's on grid the solar plant that you're putting expanding the capacity might not be possible because uh, the net metering that you do you have to actually get a contract with your uh, electricity department and just increasing it afterward is a very difficult procedure you have to ch uh, change the inverters and all those things so it's better to plan uh, maybe I would say uh, excess of 10% or 20% capacity rather than going the other way. Okay, let's do this with a simple example so that you can also understand. 
Okay, let's assume that uh, your monthly electricity bill is about rupees 5000 and in your area, the electricity uh, rate per unit is about rupees 8. I'm just assuming this. So uh, to get an idea about how many uh, units of electricity you are consuming in a month, we simply divide that rupees 5000 with the electricity rate that we have, that is eight rupees. So we come to a figure of 625 units. So this is the 625 uh, units you are consuming in a month. And uh, let's assume in a month we have 30 days. So let's divide this by 30. So you come to a figure of 20.8 units. So daily consumption is about 20.8 units that you are doing. Now to come back to our formula, how much electricity we are generating per one kilowatt of solar panels. Uh, let's uh, go with the mono perk because if you are just uh, buying a new solar uh, plant now, putting up a new solar system, uh, it's advisable to go with the mono perk. So as I've told you, uh, with the mono perk pan, uh, what do you say? system with one kilowatt of monoperk system if you have put you should expect at least 4.5 units of electricity generation per day so if you divide that 20.8 units that we require per day and divide it by 4.5 you come to a figure of 4.6 so this is the actual solar plant that you need to put a capacity of 4.6 kilowatt to generate your needs but again uh, we'll just round it off to about five kilowatts. So this is the simple maths you should do. And this will be applicable to anything. Maybe you'll having a electricity bill of 15,000, 3,000 or whatever. You can do the simple maths and you'll get an idea about this. Again, guys, remember in rainy season and very cloudy areas, uh, or days, the generation will be a lot less. And in summers, it will be actually a lot more. For example, my five kilowatt on grid plant in summers, as I've told you, generates anywhere from 29 to 31 units. And if you divide it, that uh, it is more than it's producing six units per day. But again, in some of the other seasons, when it's rainy or it falls down. That's why the average that I took is about 4.5 kilowatts, uh, 4.5 units per kilowatt of solar panel. I hope uh, this video makes sense. Uh, and this way it will be easier for you to get an idea whenever you're going to a vendor or whatever, what type of capacity plant that you uh, need to put. Also, I would say, just don't go with this uh, monthly bill that you're getting 5,000 or whatever. Do this exercise. Uh, gather all your electricity bills for the last 12 months, total them up and then divide it by 12. The number that you will get, I think so that is more accurate because uh, that will take into consideration your electricity requirement in summers what it was, in winters what it was, so it will average it out. That's a better way to average it. I hope you found this video helpful. And again, guys, this is just the start of this, uh, what do you say, solar plant series. I will be getting in depth into this one. But again, I want to keep it very interactive uh, because I know uh, many of you people have a lot of other questions uh, that you have in your mind regarding uh, what you should know before putting your solar plant. So again, let's keep it very interactive. So put your questions in the comment section below. And uh, hopefully by next week, I'll put out another video. And guys, if you're still not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.